Hello, my name is Carl Huber, and my role here at the University of Minnesota Duluth is the financial aid educator. My primary goal in the month of July is to help you as a student or family member navigate through your financial aid offer. In the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through the financial aid offer notice and provide you with information necessary to complete your financial aid. July is a very important month for financial aid. You need to be checking your UMD email account throughout the month, but especially daily in the third week of July. You will be receiving an email notification from One Stop Student Services asking you to respond in your MyU website portal to your financial aid offer for the 2021-2022 academic year. Your UMD email account is the official means for the university to communicate with you. To respond to your financial aid offer, you need to log into your MyU website portal using your user ID and password at www.myu.umn.edu. You can use a mobile device such as a laptop or download Bulldog Mobile to your phone from the Apple App Store or Google Play. Whether using a laptop or from your phone accessing Bulldog Mobile, the steps to your My Finances are the same. Click on My Finances to access billing and payment, financial aid, and financial aid history information. My Finances automatically opens up to Billing and Payment. At this tab, you can make a payment to your account, view a detailed accounting of your student account activity, and set up direct deposit for any refunded payments that you, the student, might receive, as well as direct deposit for student employment paychecks. In late July to early August, the charges for the fall 2021 semester begin to post to your student account. There are two important messages that could appear under the Billing and Payment tab. The first, if you have not responded to the Student Health Benefit Plan, you will have a message in red to either accept the health insurance or waive it by September 30th. If you have insurance coverage from a family member's plan, then you must waive the health insurance. Be sure to have your insurance card to complete the waiving of your student health benefit. If you do not have insurance, you need to enroll in the plan for an additional semester health insurance charge of $1,398. And the second message is, if you are a resident of Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota, or the Providence of Manitoba, and have not completed the reciprocity application for your state or province, there will be a message highlighted in brown to complete the reciprocity so that you can receive in-state tuition. Let's cover some important billing statement due dates. The first fall billing statement is available in the student's account on Saturday, September 4th, and the fall billing statement is due in full on Friday, September 17th. After September 4th, the student will have the option under the Billing and Payment tab in My Finances to set up a payment plan. There's a flat $20 charge per semester, and the remaining balance on the statement is split into three payments due Friday, September 17th, Sunday, October 17th, and Wednesday, November 17th. There is no interest charged on the remaining balance, only the initial $20 setup fee. Students can make a payment or if they have granted access to a parent or family member, that person can log on to their view only MyU website portal account and make a payment also. Using an e-check with a bank routing and account number, this is free. Or using a debit or credit card, there is a 2.75% non-refundable service fee. When an organization not owned by you or a family member makes a commitment to pay your educational expenses, they are considered a third-party sponsor. 
The sponsors billed for charges on your student account through a payment process called third-party billing. Students or family members who have set up a 529 plan, which is a tax advantage savings plan designed to encourage saving for future college costs, will want to contact your plan administrator to arrange payment. Financial aid is the second tab under My Finances. The student must access their financial aid to respond to their financial aid offer notice. To access your financial aid, select Aid Year and Campus. The five financial aid steps automatically open. Step one will be checked with the green circle, meaning UMD has received your free application for federal student aid or FAFSA. Step two is your to-do list items. If this step is not checked off with the green circle, your financial aid is on hold and you did not receive the email notice about your financial aid offer. Under step two, there will be a message. You have items you must complete. Click on the link to see what is required by financial aid. Once the documentation is received and completed, the UMD Office of Financial Aid and Scholarships will check step two with a green circle. Your financial aid offer will no longer be on hold. Step three is where you view your financial aid offer. Click on the link, view your awards. On the next screen, select 2022 aid year and your financial aid offer will pull up. You will notice any scholarships or grants are automatically offered and accepted. You do not have to do anything further. You must accept decline or reduce the amount of any federal direct student loan offer, then hit submit. If you were offered federal or state college work study based on FAFSA, you must accept or decline the offer and hit submit. Remember, UMD does not assign college work study jobs. You must apply for jobs at UMD Human Resources website and obtain a job to earn the work-study offer. Step four, loan documents. If you accept a federal direct student loan, you need to complete step four of your financial aid. To sign your federal loan master promissory note and complete your federal entrance loan counseling, go to the federal website, www.studentaid.gov Log on using your FAFSA ID. You will select UMD to verify you completed these two items. Step four will be checked off with a green circle when UMD receives the master promissory note and entrance loan counseling. Step five, disbursement. If you have a federal direct student loan, once the loan is disbursed, meaning pays to your student account, Step five will be checked off with a green circle. One Stop Student Services is here to help. The One Stop Counselors provide student service support for financial aid, billing and payment, and records and registration. How-to guides on every topic in this presentation can be found at the One Stop website at z.umn.edu forward slash umd one stop under the how-to guide tab. I offer 30-minute financial aid appointments designed for new students and transfer students and their families. They are created to meet you where you are in the process, help you navigate the FAFSA, explain financial aid offers, explore financial aid resources that are available, and answer any questions you might have. The link to my appointment calendar is in the center of the screen, z.umn.edu forward slash financial aid appointment. Pick a date and time that works best for you. Specify in the description if you prefer Zoom session or would like a telephone call. I will get back to you with a, the appointment confirmation. Thank you for your time and welcome to Bulldog Country.